is long, haggard, and the sea is so big. Longing is a song. So long I swallow a mouthful of rain and tie my sailboat with a fragile string. I have become a lousy lover of walls and fabric and the sound of voice notes pregnant with tears. I cannot remember the particular shade of blue beneath the eyes of you, my dear. In this voyage, in this space, I grow tired. Aching like a creek, longing to be found by pebbles and play. So vast is my sadness, the ocean is shy of its skin. Still fragrant of home, I pace tenderly, benign like the aurora of early days. Its weakness I know, and yet grief is so violent, piercing the floorboards and sealing softness. You can sit in the sailboats if you would like, wet cheeks from sleeping sideways and my sweet escape. Escapade makes the stranger make, makes the stranger make, you see. Mahogany prints and purpose in, the berry stained smile, it leaks with truth and the smell of sincerity. I stare outside and I say, oh, you look like all of the love I could not give and you smell like need. Those tyrants do not marry well together. A lover's agony is a collapsing lung. The clanking pots cleave and drain. Compassionate rain starts to soak my clothes so I hang them out to dry. I wander aimlessly and the streets look hungry. Morose orphan child, I hold out for an apology. I open my lotus hands like a lord letter, and they hand me a cup of warm and heavy love. I smell the rose as it blooms in the styrofoam cup. I smell the rose as it blooms in the styrofoam cup. The migrant carries the wet wool spell and the right to be here. The refugee is a citizen. A citizen? Says who? Says me. Untethered by abandonment and disloyalty. I peer at the rose as it blooms in the styrofoam cup. Is my integrity not enough? Have I not been through so much and come out so thin? I hand my porous eyes back to the Lord of succulent sky and pray for hands that pray. I taste the petals of the rose in the styrofoam cup and it tastes like muttered goodbyes. The wind whispers on long silent faces. Fleshy and tender, so pink it could rupture and dye this forlorn sea.